God's design and intention for human beings and for the family are for his glory, but they're also for our good, not just individually, but societally. When we move past that, oppression flourishes. The biblical perspective of human beings is that they add value to the world. They don't detract from it. Everywhere we see childbearing discussed in scripture, we see it in a positive light. We never see any directive, just getting real, to put career or travel or plant or pets before children. There's nothing that teaches a person about love, compassion, responsibility, self-sacrifice, forgiveness, and perseverance like parenting. There are few things that show us God's love for us and the immensity of the sacrifice involved in giving up his son to die on the cross for our sake like parenting. Parenting gives you a deeper perspective of what's important as well as what's at stake when it comes to political and cultural change. You're no longer impacting the world just for yourself, for your own comfort, for your own security, for your own bottom line. You're thinking about your grandchildren and what kind of world you want them to inherit. You no longer play the main character in your own life. Your needs, your wants no longer come first. The hopes and the fears that you once obsessed over for yourself are immediately upon the arrival of your child transferred onto them. And toxic mommy culture, as well as many feminists and left-wing politicians and influencers today will tell you that that's a bad thing, that motherhood will make you lose yourself, that marriage will trap you, that divorce for the sake of sheer happiness is worth it. And that you need to find a way to be liberated from the unfair expectations of mothering and marriage to, quote, find yourself. That's a lie. It's a lie. When you become a wife and a mom, that is who you are. Yes, you have other interests that aren't exclusive to marriage and parenting, and that's great. But you don't have some kind of separate identity that's out there that you need to take a journey to find. It's a good thing that your identity and who you are becomes wrapped up in the blessing of marriage and kids. Hyper-individualism in the West has robbed us of the realization that family and community don't take away from who we are, but become part of who we are. God made us, married or not, because not everyone is going to be married, and that's okay, but God made us to be communal, interdependent beings because we are made in His image, and He is in perpetual, eternal communion and fellowship with Himself between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So even if you are not married, even if you cannot have children, and you want to be, or you're feeling alone. Feeling lonely is a normal part of the human experience. And because not everyone is called to be married, and because not everyone is going to have children, God has provided you a family in the church. You are made to be a part of a family, which is exactly what you are adopted into when you come to faith in Christ. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.